Hey guys, it's lesson 15. So like last time, I'm not going to do the meditation, but we're just gonna work through paragraph by paragraph talking about what is happening in the course. If anybody has any feedback, input on the format that they find most helpful for their practice, please let me know, I'm just going with it. So let's see how this goes. Lesson 15, my thoughts are images that I have made. It is because the thoughts you think you think appear as images that you do not recognize them as nothing. You think you think them, and so you think you see them. This is how your seeing was made. This is the function you have given your body's eyes. It is not seeing, it is image making. It takes the place of seeing, replacing vision with illusions. I have a note I wrote here that says, our thoughts are nothing, so the images that come from our thoughts are nothing, including the image of ourselves. So the images are what we see in the world outside of us. I think this is important because how often is it that things people said about you or beliefs you've gotten from magazines or whatever about who you are, or the image of who you are, becomes your truth, and then your stuck in this pattern of self-loathing and not able to become the person that you know you can be. The things you think about yourself and others and your room and your house becomes your reality. But those are just the images you've made from the way that you're thinking. I know it sounds counterintuitive perhaps that if I just change the way I think that my life will change. But you know what's so crazy to me is that this is free. It takes zero effort as far as physical effort goes. It's a ton of mental effort for sure. But it takes zero physical effort, zero physical dollars, zero physical time because you're already thinking things, always. So if you can start to harness your thoughts and focus on only thinking the things that you want to be true, even if you say, but they're not true right now, think them anyway. So if you keep thinking, man, I just can't lose these extra pounds that I gained over Christmas or whatever, then you're just going to never lose them. But if you start thinking, I am healthy, I am fit, I am trim, whatever it is that you want to be, you start thinking those things and saying those things to yourself and believing them, it influences your behavior, it influences your actions, it influences the way you see things. There was this really cool study that I saw actually in a women's magazine, but I'm calling it a study. I know some of you might debate that. It was maybe even a teen magazine and the the pictures were of the same girl. She took a picture of herself every single day for, I don't remember, it was maybe a month. And she wrote how she felt each of those days about her body. Oh, I feel bloated, or oh, I feel so fat in my thighs right now, or I feel great, I look awesome. All of it, the roller coaster of emotions that she felt about her body. And this was, I think, a teenager, so if you remember being a teenager, woo! The coolest thing was that we who are not attached to that body could look at it objectively and we saw there was no difference in her. Every day she really looked the exact same from day to day, but her perception of herself changed. Our thoughts are so powerful and the Course recognizes this and the practices that we are doing are, are helping us learn to harness our thoughts, be in control of them. Stop letting that ego drive us straight into a wall and instead choose the Holy Spirit, choose our higher self and let that be our guide. That's how change comes. And this lesson is the best introduction to this. So now we're moving into paragraph two. This introductory idea to the process of image making that you call seeing will not have much meaning for you. You will begin to understand it when you have seen little edges of light around the same familiar objects which you see now. This is the beginning of real vision. You can be certain that real vision will come quickly when this has occurred. Okay, so I'm incredibly grateful to my past self because I wrote a note that brings such clarity to this sentence. It says, the, the little edges of light, this is the light of understanding, content, not seeing the light form. So the course does a lot about talking about the difference between content and form. Form being our physical self, content being our non-physical self. The thoughts, that's the content. So you will begin to understand it when you have seen little edges of understanding around the familiar objects that you see now. 
As we go along, you may have many light episodes. They may take different forms, some of them quite unexpected. Do not be afraid of them. They are signs that you are opening your eyes at last. They will not persist because they merely symbolize true perception and they are not related to knowledge. These exercises will not reveal knowledge to you, but they will prepare the way to it. So I do wanna say, I have heard of some people who literally do see light and that's their experience. I did not. And I thought, what's wrong with me? I'm not seeing any of these lights. But I kept having these light bulbs, these understandings. And it wasn't knowledge that you could read in a book, but it was perception. It was experience. It was understanding. And that helped me to progress in the course. Okay, so here we go. In practicing the idea for today, repeat it first to yourself and then apply it to whatever you see around you, using its name and letting your eyes rest on it as you say, this blank is an image that I have made. That blank is an image that I have made. It is not necessary to include a large number of specific subjects for the application of today's idea. It is necessary, however, to continue to look at each subject while you repeat the idea to yourself. The idea should be repeated quite slowly each time. Although you will obviously not be able to apply the idea to very many things during the one minute or so of practice that is recommended, try to make the selection as random as possible. Less than a minute will do for the practice periods if you begin to feel uneasy. Do not have more than three application periods for today's idea unless you feel completely comfortable with it, and do not exceed four. However, the idea can be applied as needed throughout the day. The last little note I have on my page here is the goal of the course is true perception. What is true perception? I'm not sure I've gotten there yet. I feel like I'm getting closer and I'm able to see the good and the beauty and the love that's around me because that's all that's real, all the loving and good things. Okay, have fun with the lesson and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.